This is why sometimes we pray we don't see manifestation when we pray for people. When you pray to impress, sometimes nothing happens. Even when you preach to impress, sometimes you nothing happens. You don't have the power. It's just words. You can excite people's emotion, but it doesn't impact their life. But when you preach to impact, it's a different thing. Are you following what I'm saying? Whatever we do to the glory of God, God blesses it. And then He blesses men. But when you say you want to show to bless men, you know, Jesus said you have your reward already. Even when the people are blessed, you have no reward. Mm -hmm. Because what you wanted, you wanted the praises of men rather than the praises of God. Praise the Lord. So that is why I said when you do your arm, do it in secret. Don't, prof don't publicize it. So nowadays, any gift somebody does next on Facebook. Where is the fulfillment of the scripture? He that do it. So if somebody give a bag of rice to a poor person, they now video it and put it on Facebook. If somebody put a, send a, give a gift to a church member, now they video it, they put it on Facebook. So, how does that match the scripture? That when thou do it, and do it, let none other person see. So now your projection is to say we are doing the good work. Are you following what I'm saying? If you are preaching here, you are preaching. You are sharing the word of God. If you are preaching the gospel, you are preaching the gospel. Sharing, you are preaching the, you know. So, but not every act we just do, we now publicize it. It's to impress. That's what it is. Amen. Amen. And uh, if 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 you are if somebody is raising funds for a project, and you are showing this is what we are doing, it's a different thing. Are you following what I'm saying? Like we watch seven hundred club, they do projects. You know, this is what we are doing. This what they are showing us what we are doing because they rely on our supports for them to continue to do it. They are not showing off. They are just showing us the fruit of showing their partners what they are doing. That's a different thing altogether. Amen. Amen. So it's uh, sometimes we leave the scripture behind. This is the problem of the church. You know, people, we leave the scripture behind. We do things according to emotions. And we expect God to, 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 to meet us. No, God does not respond to just emotion. We, it, the just shall live by faith. It's principles. God's word, God's word is principle. Amen? Amen. That's spiritual loss. In his mercy, sometimes he reach out to us in spite of. But that is not the generality. He said, you shall not tempt the Lord your God. Praise the Lord. So we see that the temptation here was about his image. Praise the Lord. Because the Father has already endorsed him, now the devil is coming to question the legality of the word of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. So, every temptation we see now is about image. So, it's important that we have the right image of ourselves. Amen. And no man is smart enough. We are not sufficient of ourselves to think anything that's coming from ourselves. Our sufficiency is of God. Praise the Lord. So, let's look at the example of John the Baptist. Praise the Lord. Amen? Example of John the Baptist. This is knowing your identity and relying on the scripture. Believing what God says about you. Let's just read verse, John 1, let's just read verse, 11, verse 12. It says, but as many as received him, to them gave him power to become the sons of God. Even to them that believe on his name. Which were born, not of blood. We are born again, not of blood. Not of the will of the flesh. Not of the 
will of man. But by the will of God we are born again. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So, before we continue, I just want to say this. Every identity, our identity in Christ, the kingdom identity is based on three things. Mm -hmm. Everything the scripture said about us is based on three things. Right. Number one, that you are a child of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. All identities hang on these three cards, these three principles. Number one, I'm a child of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You must not let situation beat that out of you. Mm -hmm. That must be your image. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. I'm a child of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. And number two, I'm a servant of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's right. Praise the Lord. I'm a servant. We will deal with them later, but I just want to throw it in here right now. Amen. So, when you begin to think on it, mm -hmm. the Bible says, as many as receive it to them, they give him power to become the sons of God. I'm a child of God. I'm born of God. Right. Praise the Lord. Right. Number two, I'm a servant of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm an agent of solution. Yes. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a servant yes. of the Lord Jesus. Yes. In other words, I, am, I represent Christ on earth. Everything about our identity is that we are Christ representative. Mm -hmm. So that's what I mean by I am the servant, mm -hmm. the disciple of Christ. I'm a servant of the Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. So this should be your thinking. I am a child of God, number one. Number two, I'm a servant of the Lord Jesus Christ. Number three, I am the temple of the Holy Spirit. That's right. So all our identities hang on these three keys. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Can we say it together? Number one. I am a child of God. Say with conviction. Number one. I am a child of God. Number two. I am a servant of God. Not the servant of God. Of the Lord Jesus Christ. I thought you wrote it down. <laughs> it's a different thing. Praise the Lord. It's a different. You, you must understand. It's not the servant of God. It's servant of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Again, number one. I am a child of God. Number two. I am a servant of God. Number two, I am the son of the Lord Jesus Christ. Number three, I am, I am the temple of the Lord Jesus Christ. You need to wake up. Get Taka. Drink some Taka. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I am a child of the living God. Praise the Lord. Number two, I am a servant of the Lord Jesus Christ. Number three, I am the temple of the Holy Spirit that dwells in me. I am the temple of the living God. The Spirit of the living God. Amen? So that the Father were his children. To the Lord Jesus Christ were his servant. To the Holy Spirit we are his temple. That's right. You see that? Yes. This is how I call identity, your image. This is what completes you. The rest is, is rooted in this tree. Foundation. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So now let's see the example of John. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible said John was baptizing. The nation of Israel, they were expecting a Messiah. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. They were expecting what? Messiah. And all of a sudden, John the Baptist showed up. Mm -hmm. And John the Baptist is in the street. And I'm baptizing people. Mm -hmm. Then the elders, the Pharisees, they sent message to John the Baptist. Are you the Messiah? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Verse 19. Mm. Verse 19, are you there? Yeah. It said, This is the record of John. When the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who are thou? Hello? Yeah. In, in the, that is, who do you think you are? <laughs> Praise the Lord. That's what we're talking about, kingdom identity. Mm. Who are thou? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Who are thou? Who do you think you are? This question must be answered. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. You must always answer this question. In prayer, you have to answer. When dealing with the devil, you have to answer. In facing life situation, you have to answer. You must always operate from, from your identity, from your image. Amen. I was going to talk about the kingdom lifestyle. Not the, 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 I, I felt led by the Lord. No, 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 no. It's from our identity that our lifestyle comes from. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So now, listen to this. He said, who are thou? 
Verse 20. And he confessed and denied not. But confess, I am not Christ. Mm. I am not the Christ. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So you need to know who you are not. No, it's not enough to know who you are. You have to know who you are not. Because if you don't know who you are not, people will try to fit you into the box that is not your box. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. People can give you a title that does not belong to you. God forbid. God forbid. He said, I am not the Christ. Verse 21. And they asked him, What then? Are thou Elias? And he said, I am not. Are thou that prophet that is to come? And he answered, No. That means the prophet that is coming in Revelation. Then said they unto him, Who are thou? That we may give an answer to them that sent us. What said thou of thyself? This is the title of this message. Like if I have to preach it, what says thou of thyself? Amen. Do you understand what I said? What are, what, what are you saying about yourself? What are you saying about your identity? About your image? Who are you? It, what people say about you do, does not really matter. Mm -hmm. What you say in the front of people does not really matter. It's what you say to yourself in the secret. Who are you when you are by yourself? Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We can fool some people sometimes. Yes. But we can fool all the people all the time. That's right, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. What says that of thyself? Your image is what you say of yourself. Hello? Your identity is what you say of yourself. For as a man thinketh in himself, so he sees. Praise the Lord. What, what says thou of thyself? Hello? Ask your neighbor. What says thou of thyself? What says thou of thyself? Is your neighbor there? Praise the Lord. What do you say about yourself? What are you saying about yourself? So tell yourself, henceforth, I am the child of God. I am the servant of the Lord Jesus Christ. I am the temple of the Holy Spirit. You say that? When they ask you what say that, they say, I am the child of God. I am a servant of the Lord Jesus Christ. I am the temple of the Holy Spirit. I am the temple of the Holy Spirit. I resemble God. I am made in the image of God. Are you a black man? No, I'm made in the image of God. What color are you? I'm made in the image of God. Praise the Lord. Like Daos has said, Daos has said to God, say, God, why did you make me a black man? See, now there is no black man that you ever use that we can say all over the world. You know, he said, God has, he said, God asked him, are you a black man? He said, yes. <laughs> God said, I didn't know. He said, God, what do you mean? I said, I didn't know you were a black man. He said, God, but he said, I should have made me say, I made you, I made you my image. So, <laughs> I made you my image. <laughs> so, <laughs> praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Oh, that guy. Ah, may the Lord give us giants like that again. Amen. Buddha. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 The difference between that man and all the other men of God we have, especially in Nigeria, his focus was not denomination. His focus was the body of Christ, yes. the kingdom of God. Right. Because if his focus was denomination, he would have had denomination all over the world. Mm. But that was not his focus. His focus was kingdom, the body. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know. So, and that is why you see most people will come to a place now, there's a church, they will not join the church. They want to start a denomination. Even if it is a, uh, you know. So, but well, thank God for his mercies. Amen. What says that of that? Let's, 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 verse 23. He said, I am the voice of what crying in the wilderness. Mistress the way of the Lord. I said the prophet Isaiah. And they which were sent were of the Pharisees. Praise the Lord. 
and they ask him, why then are you baptized? <laughs> if you are not the liar, if you are not Christ, you are not the prophet. He answered and said unto them, I am baptizing you with water, but there standeth one among you, whom you know not. He is it who is coming after me, is preferred before me. Who so lasheth, I am not worthy Amen. to lose. Hallelujah. Amen. These things were done in Beth, Beth Tabara, beyond Jordan, where John was baptizing. Mm. Praise the Lord. And next day, John sees Jesus coming unto him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God that taketh away the sins of the world. They asked John, what said thou of thyself? John did not say, I am son of Zechariah. Mm -hmm. The cousin of Elizabeth. I mean, the cousin of Mary. <laughs> he said, I am the voice. The voice of one crying. He answered with the scripture. He said what God said about him. Because it was prophesied. In Isaiah 40, verse 3. Yes. Look at it, put Isaiah 40, verse 3. It was prophesied about him. And this is what God told him he is. And it's his life and destiny in. Right. So when they ask him, who are you? He said, the, the Bible said, the voice of him that cried in the wilderness, prepare you the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. As for, he has found himself. And he has marked himself. Just as Jesus, when he came to the temple, the Bible said they gave him Isaiah to read. And he opened Isaiah 61. And read what the scripture said about him. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. For he has anointed me. He spoke what the scripture spoke concerning him. And when he finished, he spoke the book and said, Today this scripture is fulfilled. <laughs> In your ear. This is who I am. So they identified themselves by the scripture. By what God has said. Not how they feel. Not what the society say, not what they wear, not where they live, not what they drive, but what the scripture says about them. Somebody with me. This is confidence. This is faith. This is courage. This is true image. Praise the Lord. They said, I am the voice of one crying in the Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Of the Lord. Colossians 2, 9 and 10. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm excited in my spirit. Glory to God. Colossians 2. Hallelujah. Let's take it from this. The Bible said, Go to verse 6. As you have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk ye in him. That's right. How did we receive Christ Jesus the Lord? Mm. By faith. faith. So how do we walk, walk in him? In by, by faith. faith. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Rooted and built up in him. Mm. Hello? Uh -huh. Hello? Uh -huh. Listen to this. You have to be what? Rooted. Rooted. Uh -huh. And build up in Christ. In other words, foundate yourself in Christ. Foundate yourself, your identity, your destiny in Christ. Rooted and built up in Him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are rooted in Him and we are built up in Him. You cannot be built up in Him on, 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 unless you are rooted in Him. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So root downward, fruit upward. Mm, yes. Yes. And established in the faith. As we have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. What makes us abound? Thanksgiving. How? Thanking God for what he has done for you. Amen. Thanking God for what Christ has done for us makes us abound in faith. Amen. Are you following what I'm saying? Amen. When you begin to testify, and you begin to thank God. You are activating. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Your spiritual blessings and benefits. Mm -hmm. Verse 8 now. 
He said, beware. Mm. Beware lest any man spoil you. True mm. philosophy and vain deceit. Mm -hmm. Beware. Mm. There is a warning. Yes. Beware lest any man spoil you. What does it mean spoil you? It's to teach you something contrary to the world. It's to say to you something contrary to the world. It's to tell you that it's God doesn't really exist. If you are the son of God, why this and that? Why this and that? It's to, it, it said, beware of this human philosophy and vain deceit. It's vain deceit. After the tradition of men, it's not popular opinion what the expert says. It's what God says that man can boast. Amen. Are you following what I'm saying? After the rudiment of the world. So the world has their own rudiment. Amen. He said, not after Christ. Mm. Don't let and do not let any person spoil you through philosophy to deceive you from Christ. Mm. Because Christ is the real thing. Right. Somebody say Christ is the real thing. Christ is the real thing. You see that? He said, we go after Christ. We are rooted and grounded in Christ. It's our identity and our ability. It's our authority. Is our capacity. Amen. Now verse 9. For in him, for in Christ dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Christ is tabernacle. Mm -hmm. In Christ, he is the embodiment of the fullness of the Godhead. The God that is the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. He said Christ house the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It's the manifestation, the expression of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. For in Him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead body. Hallelujah. And look at verse 10. He said, and you are complete as a church, as the body of Christ. With your individual member yes. and the collective body. He said, and you are complete in him. Who is the head? Which is the head of all principality and power? Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Say, I am complete. In him. is my completion. Christ is my completion. I am rooted. I am grounded. I am being built up. In Christ. And my life is after Christ. I refuse to be spoiled by worldly philosophy and rudiment. In Christ dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. And I am complete in Him who is the head of all principality and power. Hallelujah. Nine, ten. Let us read the Amplified. And we'll round up. Praise the Lord. We're rounding up. I just want to read the Amplified. It says, For in Him, the whole fullness of deity, the Godhead continues to dwell in bodily form, giving complete expression of the divine nature. Mm. Christ is He who gives what? Complete expression. Expression of the divine nature. And how does He express it now? Through us, the body of earth. Amen. He said, and you are in him. Say, I'm in him. I am in him. Made full. Made full. And having come to the fullness of life in Christ, you too are full, are filled with the Godhead. Amen. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. A rich full spiritual stature. And he is the head of all rule and authority. And every angelic principality and power. In the light side and in the dark side. He's head of all. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Say, I too. I too. I'm full. I'm full. And having come I'm to the fullness of life. In Christ. In Christ. In Christ, in Christ I, too I too am filled with the Godhead. The Father, the, Father, the, Son, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit dwells in me. In, in Christ, in Christ I, have I have reached full spiritual full stature. Spiritual stature. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That is the position of our spirit. Yes. Faith makes it a reality. Yes. Yes. In the physical. Okay. In the spirit, it is real. Yes. But in the, in the activation, mm. in the experience, this is our position in Christ. Amen. Amen. But faith makes it our experience. Amen. 
So how? Meditate on it. Think it. Talk it. Thank God for it. Yeah. Somebody think, talk, talk, think, talk, talk. Anytime think, you hear clock, talk, it means talk, think talk, it, talk, talk it, talk, and thank God for it. Hallelujah. Yeah. Think it, think the word. Talk the word. And thank God for the word. Amen. Amen. See, I am, I am going to be thinking and talking and thanking God for His Word throughout this month and for the rest of my life. This is the just. And this is, I am the just. And this is how I live. In Jesus' mighty name. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Oh, if you are excited, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Testify that I have received the truth of God's word. The truth I have received is in my heart and in my mind. I will not lose it. I seal it in me by the blood of Jesus. I am made in the image and the likeness of God. Oh, Christ is my identity. Christ is my true image. I'm rooted and built up in Christ. I am grounded in Christ. I am after Christ. I'm complete in Christ. For the glory of God. Thank him. Give me praise. Give me praise. Give me praise. Bless and be the name of the Lord our God. He's an awesome God. He's an awesome God. He's always true. He's always faithful. In the name of Jesus. Amen. To everyone watching me who has not accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior. And you want to do that. Say, Jesus, I believe the Father sent you to die for me. Now, Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. Wash me with your blood. Feed me with your spirit. And give me the power to live for you. I declare that I'm yours. Henceforth, I renounce Satan and the world. I renounce sin. And I give my life to Christ. I'm born again. I'm a child of God. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. I pray for healing and deliverance. I speak life, health, and wholeness. I speak completion. I rebuke all the works of the devil. I break the power of the enemy. I speak life, health, and wholeness to you. Wisdom and power release upon you. Amen. Your mouth shall testify. Amen. You shall sing of the goodness of God. Amen. In Jesus' glorious name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen.